welcome to Actual Spinster. Today I'm going to talk about like a little project that I'm going to be doing from the 23rd of August to the 22nd of September I think. It might be the other way around but whatever. <laughs> what? <laughs> might be the other way around. Yeah you know like the 22nd of August and the 23rd of September. Oh I see. <laughs> I think okay. about, like, you know, from the 20th of September to August. I don't think it can be. Really no, you're right, you're right. No, I think it's good to clarify. <laughs> the project's called Virago Season because it'll be happening during Virgo Season, and the idea is to read the Virago classics. We got there. Not just classics, actually, but like Virago published books, which are generally women's publisher. So yeah, I'm I'm making this video because it's kind of like I guess a TBR of sorts. But I also kind of want to say like if you if you want to join me during Virgo season doing this, then that, like that would be lovely. But yeah, I did originally think that this was going to be like more of an event, but I just don't have like spoons to organize anything really. So it's just very chill. Yeah, I think I'll show you all of the Virago potentials that I um, have with me right now. I'm definitely not going to read all of these. Yeah, I, I would say that like my, you know, good completion of this project for me would be to like read two to three and my like better would be to read four of them and my like best would be five but I, I highly doubt I'll read five of these books. I have like a little bit of a range. I would say the majority of these are like older books but not massively older. You know, it's still from the like 20th century. So I have Bid Me To Live by HD, which I have started reading, and this is like something I would really like to finish. And yes, it is in the Virago Modern Classics edition, I think it was published in the 1960s and it's set in 1917 or like during the First World War. I also have Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, which I would like to finally read. I also have Frost in May by Antonia White, which has this like really beautiful cover and is pretty short. So yeah, we'll see if I can get to that, but that's definitely not a priority. Other books I have, I, I think this is the most recently published one and that's Crimson by Nivia Corneliuson, which was translated. So it's Greenlandic originally and then I believe the, the author translated it into Danish and then from Danish it was translated by Anna Halliger. I think, I think that's correct. And this is definitely a, a priority. I'll like go through the actual priority ones after I finish. I obviously have a Muriel Spark book, which is loitering with intent. It's always lovely to read a Muriel Spark, but she's never like a super high priority because I'm just like, I'm obviously gonna read her books. So I don't need like, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I don't need to like push myself to. Then we've got Black Narcissus by Ruma Godden, which I think I talked about briefly in my 1930s reading vlog, that I had like hauled it there or something. Then I've got, I think this is Ange Angela Carter's like debut novel, and that's Shadow Dance. Like two years ago now, I got really interested in reading this, and then, and then I didn't. And I think you just, you do kind of have to be like in the right mood for Angela Carter. But you know, it could be interesting. And it is also pretty short. And then I have both of these books I've had for a really long time. Um, this one is Apology for the Woman Writing by Jenny Diskey and yeah I've been really interested in her work for a while she keeps kind of popping up like including in connection with Doris Lessing and I just love like the title of this I think it looks really interesting and then I have The Group uh, by Mary McCarthy which I did actually pick as my TBR jar choice for August I don't think I will be starting it in August but this is also like a priority so I will show you my priorities. Obviously like another reason for doing this project you know is so I can encourage myself to keep reading the books on my shelf that I've had for a while because obviously that is part of the project that I've been doing this year with my TBR jar and stuff and it's like a fun way I guess to make it kind of like themed but like not too strict or anything. Whilst I would like to get to this one I don't think it will be a priority. The four main ones but maybe Re Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier just because it's so big is not like as priority but the three books that I would really like to finish during Virgo season slash Virago season is The Group uh, by Mary McCarthy and Crimson by Nivea Corneliuson um, Bid Me To Live by HD especially because this one is very short and I've already started reading it I think actually this one Crimson is also pretty short too yeah and then if I make more progress on that I'll just keep reading obviously this is like a very specific collection to choose from because they're just like books I've accrued over the many years but if you want to participate or anything and you're interested in like buddy reading any of these especially the priority ones then definitely let me know because that would be fun and yeah I don't know also let me know if you join in I would love that but it's gonna happen whether or not other people join in I hope you like my pun I thought about it last year in 
Virgo season and it's when I decided I had to do it for this coming year <laughs> but I obviously had run out of time to do it last year so I had to wait a whole year. I, uh, I hope you have a lovely day when you're seeing this and I will talk to you when I next talk to you. Bye! We could try and sync up like I'll make mouth shapes and you can speak. <laughs> Welcome to Action Spinster. <laughs> we do it again. Hey, welcome to Action Spinster. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I whispered everything. <laughs>